Today we're going to talk about the one thing that you can do in order to get a great speaking career where you get paid gigs or media to help boost your business. So you can land media or land speaking gigs, but they both are going to boost your business. My name is Katherine Janicek and I have been in media for over 20 years and uh, now I own my own company and I coach clients and I train clients on how to get media and how to land public speaking gigs and how to be better on stage and how to be better in the media. So that is why we're talking about the topic today of one thing that you can do to land public speaking gigs or be better on stage and also to gain media in order to boost your business. You may or may not already know that when you land media, which is free advertising, whether you're on your local television station or your national, uh, some st uh, show that's on the national network that you love, or if you go on stage to talk to a local Rotary Club or some other club that is um, in your town, you can boost your business dramatically and boost your career if you gain some of these speaking engagements or gain the, that media exposure. This, it's like instant. And what's great about it is it's free. That's free media. So with a lot of people like car dealerships and you name it, um, Stanley Steamer, you know, think about all the local paid commercials that you see on your local television station, local businesses that are doing that. Advertising is great, but think about all the people that you will reach if you do something that costs you nothing, which is media. Getting featured in a story or being featured as a guest on a segment, being featured live, being, like I said, being featured in a taped story. You can boost your business big time boost your career, make more money for your company. Whether you own your company or not, this is good for you. It gets your name out, your website will be seen, you will have the website link to, at your company will be on the local media most often, their site, and you'll be able to just get more business. And we're talking about free advertising. This costs you nothing. What it costs you is a little bit of time to learn how to do it the right way. So that's why I'm here. But I do it, I help you for free every single Thursday at one o'clock. All right. So let me talk a little bit about, um, how do I say this? How to say this um, a nice way? And I'm sorry, I, I you might notice we have moved and there's a lot of moving <coughs> dust. I will edit that out when that airs on YouTube. All right. So we have moved, and so that why that's why you don't see the normal backdrop back there of my bookshelf, etc. We've moved, and there is a lot of moving dust going on in my house right now. So please bear with me if I happen to sneeze again. All right. So if you ever been, you know, you're you're at the office. You might be in your office now, and um, you might have just gotten out of a meeting, and somebody may have been talking on and on and on and on and on and. At the end, you have no idea what they were talking about. It, it, nothing that they said felt relative to um, what you were doing that day. They were just giving a bunch of stats and a bunch of numbers. Uh, have you ever been on a date that the person, when they were talking about their career or their J-O-B, um, they were just so boring? You just wanted that, you know, your entree to get here and your bill to get here so quickly because you just wanted out. Because that person just bored you to tears. You were just like, I need to leave. I've been there. I've been there when someone just says, like, I'm an investment banker, do, 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 or I'm a VP of blah, 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 you know, and you're like, so what? What does that mean? How, what does that matter? How does that matter to me? Tell me something about yourself. Have you ever, you know, um, well, that's, you know, right there. You've been in a meeting where somebody was going on and on and on and giving a bunch of stats and you're just tuning out. You have definitely been, you may or may not have been on a date where somebody um, bored you to tears and you just couldn't wait for the check to come. 
if they had one thing that would have helped your date or that meeting dramatically and I guarantee if you have this one thing it will help you gain media exposure for your company and therefore make more money that one thing is a story it's a story that's relatable it's a story that just grabs you and tugs at your heart or it's a story that makes you go ah that's that's what those numbers mean at the end of the day that's why those numbers count or that's why I should care because the person has told you why you should care and I hope that after we talk today and after you hear this like you go oh I can definitely do this I can definitely make what I'm saying touch people a little better relate to them make them understand of course those stats those numbers are great they're great for us they help us understand something the media loves it too because they're able to see like a story came out a couple days ago and I happen to have a client who is a colon cancer surgeon and the story came out and said specifically that the rates for people who are 50 and under now have a higher um, risk of getting cancer so people more people under the age of 50 are now getting having cancer colon cancer and rectal cancer which was usually something that was you know you saw that more with people who are 50 plus but if you just saw numbers that you know said you know more people 29 to 49 or 29 to 50 are getting colon cancer blah blah, blah. but if that just that statement just went out there but instead a good story would talk about why why and I you know that day I, I directly I immediately reached out to my client the colorectal surgeon and I said let's talk about this you know why are you number one are you seeing this and why are you seeing this And she explained you know why people under 50 now are having colon cancer and rectal cancer where decades ago we just didn't see that happen and it's because we're more um, we're not moving as much our diet suck we're eating processed foods that are full of fertilizers and other things like she just listed those things out so then I was able to you know not only was there this scary number that said oh my gosh you know I'm under 50 you know could I get colon cancer or rectal cancer but it explained you know she talked about she told stories to me about her clients that she saw who were 29 30 and may have terrible diets and don't exercise and who are sedentary and who are eating processed foods but now it became a story she could talk about specifically well I had Joe who came in at 32 years old and he you know this was his life and this is probably this may have led to the fact that now he has colon cancer so telling that story making me feel feel it or saying you know Jody she's 35 years old and she is sedentary she works on her butt um, 10 hours a day she doesn't move she eats processed foods out of boxes and cans and bags she never you know never eat she doesn't eat right she doesn't eat fruits and vegetables fresh from the grocery store she eats all this crap and she doesn't move and she doesn't exercise and she doesn't go to the gym on the weekend even when she's not working so you tell this story and you're actually able to see you know see a person happen it's not now it's not just you know the rates of people under 50 are now getting more colon cancer and rectal cancer it's becoming a story it's becoming relatable because I'm under 50 or I might know a Jody or I might know a Joe who is under 50 who she's talking about so if you're a doctor and you have a huge study to talk about or if you have something a news that you need to get out to warn people about something just saying numbers just spewing out all this information about you know well more people lose babies you know in pregnancy if you know than ever at this age or whatever but if you tell a story if you say you know I had a client her name was Jody her name was Joyce I don't know what the J's are today but she um, you know this happened and why and you paint that picture a I'm gonna remember it a lot better than a number and B I'm intrigued now I'm entertained I can see that person in my you know imagination these are all very important so it's important to draw that picture out so people don't just hear a number they hear a story here's another thing so here's a, here's an example alright we were talking about 
you know, have you ever been in, on a date and the person was just so bland because they said, you know, oh, I'm a VP of blah, blah, blah bank. And they think, oh, some girl's supposed to be impressed by that. Well, they're not. So my husband, for example, um, on one of our first dates, he talked about being, he's a, he sells software. He's a VP of sales and marketing for a software company. And so it, I kind of like, you know, my eyes kind of rolled in the back of my head because I was, I, I don't, you know, I'm a, I've been in television for 20 years. You know, tell me more, paint a picture, draw me in, explain what you mean. But then he would explain the software and why it was important for hospitals to have the software because it linked, you know, now they're able to treat people not just um, physically, but maybe what their mental issues are. Because we know now more than decades ago that if you have something maybe that's going on mentally, it can affect you physically. So the software is able to, you know, so all these doctors can talk to each other. They can log things in. So that way you as a patient, you have better service because all of your doctors can can talk to each other and collaborate. So this so, so drawing that picture out really helps me and I hope that this the his sales team does that too but see how it's really important to talk about what happens. You know, not only do you have the top software or you have the top blah 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 people but explain what that means to the community. Explain what that means to your industry. Explain what that means for humankind, you know? Um, if you, I mean, the, the examples just go on and on and on. So the biggest thing, if you want a speaking career, a good paid speaking career, or to get great media so you blow your business out of the water and make a ton more money, is to really have that relatable story. Let's, let's talk about another example. And I've, I've brought this up before, but it's very general, so it really helps people, okay? Say, you're, say you sell a product. Say you sell, um, you know, tox, toxin-free makeup, all right? A lot, it's, it's big right now. People know that, you know, these, these products seep into your skin and hurt, you know, can actually cause men to have more estrogen issues, et cetera. Okay, so there's all these issues with people because of the products that we put on our skin. All right, so say you sell one of those products. Instead of just saying, you know, blah, 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 toxins, blah, 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 estrogen, yada, 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 it's better if you're able to give an example. You know, um, Jane was a 29-year-old woman, and she couldn't get pregnant. She tried over and over and over, and she had all of these issues. But once she was able to, for a couple years, take all of the toxic products out of her life, all of the chemicals that she cleaned her house with, all of the makeup products and the lotions she used and the hair, you know, the shampoos and the conditioners that had all these chemicals in it, at 33 she was able to get pregnant because her body, her, her hormones were finally adjusted and she, the doctors cleared her of all of these issues that she had in the past that were really created because of these toxic products. So see how you've created this story instead of you just going in and trying to sell something and explaining, you know, our product, you know, blah, blah, blah makeup doesn't have, you know, yada, yada, yada chemicals in it and so it's better for you. Well, how is it better for me? You know, explain because if you tell that story about a woman who had all these issues or say you tell a story about a man who was getting man boobs because of all this estrogen that was in his food and estrogen that was in his products and stuff that he was using and his lotions, it was getting man boobs, which was never seen, you know, in the rest of his family. And all of a sudden he started using chemical free products and, and no, you know, parabens in his lotion or whatever. And his man boobs went away. He, this is actually something that can happen um, you know he didn't change his diet he didn't work out anymore but his man boobs are gone you know it's I know I'm getting I'm getting a lot of like oh faces because it's scary you know there's a lot of men walking around in their 40s and their 30s with man boobs and the rest of their body is like tight but they have this issue so say you sell a product talk about that draw a picture talk about the fact you know instead of just saying our product doesn't have these three chemicals in it. Well, how do I know I care? You know, honestly, 15 years ago or 10 years ago, I wouldn't know that I care. But now that I've heard those stories and I've done my own research and I've seen changes, you know, then, then I start to relate to it. So it's really important. You know, obviously, I can't, unless you tell me right now by commenting in what your company is, and I would love it. Um, if you tell me right now what you sell, I would love to explain how you can tell a relatable 
story, but I'm just kind of making stuff up. So I hope that you connecting right now and watching live understand you can kind of you can take your own company and from my examples understand how to create a relatable story, right? So we've been we've been talking about for 15 minutes now, and if you're just joining us live, my name is Katherine Janicek, and I go live every single Thursday at 1 p.m. Central here on my Facebook page. I have been in media for over 20 years, and I coach, I have my own company, and I coach people on how to get media, and then when they get great media, how to look the part, how to talk the way so that when they get on, they're content actually sticks with their audience and so they really get something from that free media, that free advertising. I also help clients to um, who are going to speak on stage and create their presentation and help them create their story that will really, really stick and relate to their audience. So that's what I do and that's why I give this free advice every single Thursday at 1 p.m. on Facebook. So if you're watching live right now, please let me know if you have a question or if you want, we can do a little exercise. Let me know if you, what company you work for, what you sell, and I can spin a relatable story for you if you would like. But I've given a couple examples now so far. Some were scientific, some were you know doctor related, some were you know makeup product related, and hopefully you got something out of it. So the biggest thing, whether you're going to go on a first date tonight, a blind date, or you're going to go and present some you know new quarter numbers to your um, a small group or a large group at the office, or you're going to get on stage, or you're going to pitch your story, your pitch, your, your idea, or your product, or your business to the media. The biggest thing you need to have is a relatable story. You need to have a reason for someone to stop what they're doing and watch, and stop with checking their phone during a meeting and zone in on you and really you know absorb what you're saying your content will land much better you'll be you'll be able to sell your company much better if you can tell a relatable story to your potential client so it's very very important beyond having the posture that we talk about or beyond having you know making sure as a woman you don't have super loud makeup on or earrings that are rattling up against your microphone or a necklace or bracelets you know those those are things we talk about here on these Facebook lives on Thursday at one o'clock those are all subjects we've talked about in the past so beyond all that beyond you know getting out all of those things that can distract from your message the biggest thing is to have a story that reaches your audience or your potential customer or your, um, well, your audience can be a small group or large group at work, or to reach that audience that's at home watching on the couch, or running around their house when you, when you land that great media segment. You want them to stop and run to the television and see what you're talking about, and hear what you're talking about, and watch you. So it's very important to have a relatable story. So I hope you put that to practice this week, whether you're going on a date, or whether you're speaking at work, or whether you're trying to get media, please, um, and I, I write about that, I wrote about it a lot more today in the, the daily email blast that I send out. So if you're not already on my email list, you don't get any spam, you just get these kind of free tips. And I um, have a way for you to sign up for that, and that's just by going to katherinejanasek.com, and you can sign up for my daily email, and it's just free tips on how to get public speaking and media hits for your business. You can sign up today. So in the meantime, have a great day, and thank you so much for joining me.